Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And today we're gonna to be doing a general timeless reading. Whenever this video finds you, it's the right time. I personally believe every single reading has a little something that we can all take away. Whether it resonates with you as a storyline or not, there's always a quote, there's always a message, there's always a confirmation, something that we can take away. So I encourage you to allow this space to be a healing space. Comment in the comment section below. Use this space to connect to other Pisces and get the support that you may need. Or give advice if you feel like others could be needing it. Alright, Pisces. Let's see. I'm going to be taking the cards that uh, jump upright, jump on the table. If they fly out of my reach, they're going to stay out of my reach. Spirit knows this. We have a deal. <laughs> All right. What is it that Pisces needs to know right now? Please bring in the most accurate predictions, powerful confirmations, the best advice, the most relevant overall reading for the Pisces watching. Help them navigate their reality through the messages in this reading. What does Pisces do to If I remember, I'm going to add the deck in the description box in case some of you like the cards. I know that many of you sent, you know, emails asking for the names of the decks. So I'm going to do my best, if I find them, uh, to add them in the description box, okay? Alright. Alright, alright, Pisces. Some of you have this ability <laughs> to be graceful and to make something really beautiful out of something that was maybe intended to harm you or intended to stop you, hold you back, affect you, take you down. It's like you have this ability. Like someone, if someone were to like try to hang you, all of a sudden you become this aerial artist. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like if someone were to oppress you, all of a sudden you know exactly how to turn that around and make it into your power. If someone judges you, if someone talks bad about you, it's like you have this ability to take that energy, transmute it, and make it work for you. And there's someone here that is driven crazy by this. There's someone here, Pisces, who has been sort of obsessed with you, okay? I'm not gonna lie, what I'm seeing is this. And this person, they could be a fire sign, this could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, I heard Gemini, um, but also an Aries. This person has been obsessed with you for quite some time. This is someone who um, could be like a... someone your similar age, someone that has sort of grown up parallel to you. Maybe they subconsciously compete with you. You know, who gets married first? Who has children, ch children first? Um, how successful are they? How fast? How successful are you? It's like someone here tends to like compare themselves to you. And it's like they're very annoyed because they see this superpower that you have. And it seems more valuable and more powerful than any success would be. So let's say that maybe they could be more successful. Quote unquote. <laughs> they are more recognized. They are more powerful, wealthy, healthier, prettier, whatever. <laughs> um, but they see that no matter what they have accomplished, it's not as valuable as your ability to turn things around. They see your magic in a way that maybe you don't even see it. 
And they both admire it, and it also frust frustrates them. That's what I see. They see you, and they see the world with a very specific lens. We all do, right? We don't see the world as it is, we see the world as we are. And this person sees you... They feel like they're ahead of you, but in all the ways that matter, you're ahead of them. I don't know why they see it in this linear fashion of like who's ahead or something, but they do. I see here that they... Some of you could have been... Um, maybe they liked you romantically. Maybe they had some kind of crush on you or something. I see two women here. But it's the Queen of Cups. So there could have been some kind of connection, intuitive, spiritual, psychic connection that was very appealing to them. Maybe there was a compatibility somewhere. I see oceans, I see mountains, I see nature. Sunrise, sunset, flowers. I see... I see desire. This person wants you in their life. They admire you, but you're also frustrating to them somehow. They want to learn from you. They want to teach you. It's like they crave this like connection to you in a peer, kind of like as equals. They crave that connection. They want... It's like they want to be your ally. They want to be side by side with you. They want to share ideas. They want to work with you. They want that healthy um, version, let's say, of this. But this hasn't happened for whatever reason. They may feel like you have been going through a lot. Maybe they have been going through a lot. They feel like they can make a lot of money with you. But there is this sense of competition here, regardless. It's like, this could be two women. It's like they want to work with you, but they want to be the most successful, the most powerful. And you know what reference I'm getting, which is super random? Uh, the Super Bowl, J-Lo and Shakira issue. I don't know if you ever heard about that. But it's, you know, super massive stars trying to compete for the, the stage in five minutes. Biggest, I think it was five minutes, eight minutes, whatever. Biggest opportunity of their lives and they were supposed to share it with another person. Someone they perhaps admire, but you know, toe to toe. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. They have a fire that you need. You have the water that they need. You have the intuition, the psychicness, the mutability. I'm, I'm uh, getting the letter N. Nicholas, Natalie, um, Nadia. I'm getting kind of like frenemy vibes, but not really. Like this is not an enemy. This is someone who's like, like I don't understand how Pisces turns everything around. It annoys me, but I admire it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like conflicting feelings there. This person may be prone to, and they know it. They can be very like vain. They can be uh, someone who's like very egotistical, but it seems like they catch themselves as soon as they um, say something, as soon as they think something. It's like this is a person who wants to be impeccable in word and thought, and they know that they are not sometimes, and that's okay with them. They're very authentic, it seems. Um, 
they catch themselves judging, fearing, being jealous. They don't hold it personal. This could be a very spiritual person as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is someone here holding a coin. And someone wanting that coin. This person feels like you have so much potential and so many like opportunities for financial success and recognition, but you don't use them. And that frustrates them sometimes. Yeah, this is definitely someone who like admires you. It's, it's yeah, it's very interesting. They admire, it's like that healthy competition. Someone who keeps you on your toes. Do you know who this is, Pisces? Comment below if you have any idea. Is this someone in your industry? Is this someone in your company, your work? Is this a sibling, a friend? Like, who, who is this? I want to know. Spill the tea in the comment section below. Maybe this is you. You feel this way towards someone else. Let me know. I want to know. I'm nosy like that. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So this is what I got for you. Bottom line, this person is open to collaborations, open to help you see how much potential and magic and power you have, as long as you don't overshadow, overshadow them. Yeah, overshadow them? That's a word, right? I think. <laughs> Spanish is my main language, by the way, so bear with me. All right. Pisces, I love you to the moon and back. I will be leaving the deck, if I find it and remember, at the bottom of the description box. You can check that out. And um, also, I invite you to click on that subscribe button if you would like to make someone smile, aka me. And I'll see you in the next reading. <laughs> Bye, my loves.